Hey folks, this is Trask Nari. Um, I know I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I was in San Francisco, uh, just going on a trip with my dad. Um, and while we were out there, we decided to be manly men and watch as many uh, manly men movies as we could. And the first one that I watched was Machete. And I gotta say, right off the bat, if you are a fan of action movies and you're a fan of 70s action exploitation movies, go see this. Go see this multiple times, even if you're not a fan of, like, uh, that particular genre. If you like cheesy action movies, go watch this. This is such a good movie. Um, although there is quite a bit of nudity and violence in it, so if you're too young, if you're under 17, pretend I didn't say that which I just realized most of my viewers are. Anyway, this movie is really good. Basically, um, Rodriguez, the guy who directed this, sp said, I am going to make a cheesy action exploitation movie, and by God, it's going to be awesome. And it is. I mean, this movie has um, Steven Seagal as a Mexican, as a Spanish samurai getting in epic battles with Danny Trejo in probably the most hilarious things ever just because it's Steven freaking Seagal uh, who I am thrilled to see in movies again because I kind of wanted to see the big guy on, uh, on the silver screen again. And, uh... It has Lindsay Lohan, which, stop, don't turn the video off, I know it's Lindsay Lohan, but considering the fact that she plays a drunk, totally, uh, like, irresponsible slut, for lack of a better word, for the, like, the first half of the movie, kind of makes it okay, because it's an, in, it's, it's like she's making fun of herself, which I can understand, I can tolerate. So, the fact that she becomes a battle nun at the end of the movie, spoilers, uh, it makes it pretty awesome. Awesome fight scenes. Epic, epic characters. Um, pretty much every woman in the movie, uh, set basically, uh, like, they, they take one look at Machete and they're like, uh, it's, it's like, you're ugly. But then they realize there's a camera floating behind his head, so they realize he's the protagonist and immediately jump into bed with him. Uh, let's see. Jessica Alba... While I do not, I'm not a huge fan of her acting, she's okay in this movie. God, and I wish I had the name of the actress who plays um, Luz in this movie. Oh, she's good. This whole movie is great. I want to see it a second time. Um, just, this movie is exactly what Expendables should have been. The problem is Sylvester Stallone just wanted to play the entire thing too straight. He's like, we're making an action movie, we're making a classic action movie, but we're going to do it straight. We're not going to we're not going to have too many in jokes about the genre. If Rodriguez had directed that movie, it would be so much better. Hell, I would give any amount of money to see that movie directed by uh Rodriguez or Tarantino, but that's neither neither here nor there. Anyway, Machete is awesome really one of the best movies in theaters right now um this review is going to be a little bit short because i immediately have to switch off and give a review of the second movie i watched piranha 3d stay tuned i'll see you guys later